Okay guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Twister OS version 1.6. So it's actually been a while since I've taken a look at Twister OS for the Raspberry Pi. And I was just looking at their website a little bit ago and I saw that they had all these new updates. And they actually look really interesting. So I'm going to be going in this video and just taking a look at those updates and see what they are and how they work. But if you do not know what Twister OS is, definitely go and check out my other video which will be linked in the description. Just watch that video and you can see all the features of Twister OS and what it is basically. But this is the default Twister OS theme, but I enjoy the Mac OS theme more, so I'm just gonna use the theme Twister app and I'm gonna switch over to Mac OS because that's the theme that I enjoy more. So I'm just gonna go next, iRasby and Dark, and I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna switch my theme for me. It's gonna restart, so I'll hit enter and I'll get going. Okay, so I'm back on the Mac OS theme now, and as you see, it looks pretty nice, looks just like Mac OS for me. So now let's go over to the Twister OS website, and let's see what they say there is in the change log. So we can just see what they say is new. So it loads me straight up to the Twister OS website, actually, and I'm just going to go over to Downloads, Twister OS for Raspberry Pi 4, and you just go scroll down here, Twister OS version 1.96, change log. Let's take a look. So there's a Twister About Twister OS app. And this app actually looks really cool, and I'll be showing that in a minute. We have a Disk Usage Analyzer app, a Twister OS Web Apps Launcher app. This is an app that I am super excited about. It just looks so interesting and so awesome. Then we have Twister OS Diagnostics, Pulse Audio. They fixed some problems there. This is another one. Added support for EXE files, icons, and double-clicking to launch with Wine. So, this is going to make us installing Wine apps so much easier. All you have to do is double click on them now. And I'll be also showing that in a minute. But, yeah, so we also have updated README. And it just gives some thank you to Phoenix Bird for his web app and Juan Lozano for his About Twister OS app. So, as you see, there are a lot of good updates to this one. And let's get over here and let's see what there is to do. So, let's first start with the About Twister OS app and let's see what that looks like. So we just click the Twister OS app right here, Accessories, and you scroll down, and it's at the bottom right here. It says About Twister OS. So you click on that, and look at this. Oh my goodness, this looks just like Mac OS. It looks exactly like it. We have our, so it says Twister OS. We have the logo right here. It shows what version it is, the Raspberry Pi model. Like, this is so awesome. Displays. I have one display right now, and that is my resolution. Storage, I'm running this off a of 57 gigabyte USB drive. Our memory, I have eight gigs of memory installed, and support. So, I mean, look at this thing. This thing is amazing. It looks just like Mac OS. You can do tons of stuff from here. Like, this app is so great. I love it. I just really do love it. I just wanna say great job for creating this app. It's amazing. So next thing that I want to take a look at is the Twister OS web app made by Phoenix Bird. So if you go over here to internet, right here, Twister OS web apps, that's what it's called. So all you do is you click on that and it's going to launch this Twister OS web app thing. And look here, we have so many apps, so many games, so many. So these are all the games. We can go over here to multimedia. And you can open up Spotify, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, all of that stuff straight from here. It's just amazing. We have Discord, Elements, WhatsApp, TikTok, Zoom. We have all of our stuff that we could possibly need right in this one app. It is just amazing. So I'll just be going over a few. Okay, so let's start out with some multimedia. We can just go over to multimedia tab and let's just go to YouTube. So YouTube works just like the website. It is the website, it just opens up in an app type of thing. So as you see, the icon still is Chromium. So if, if I wanted to play something, I could just do that, open it straight up, and it would play through the YouTube web app. So it's pretty cool that you have all these apps 
located in one place so they're super easy to access you can do whatever you need all from these one things i mean so that's pretty much youtube you all you guys all know youtube we can just close out of that there's spotify netflix hulu and i can't confirm all of these things works of course i'm not signed in or anything like that all you have to do to play a song you just hit one you hit play and you go straight off and it starts playing for you it's really great Netflix like all of these things I'm not signed in right now but it's just awesome that it's this easy to access all of these awesome apps and it's not only limited to these you have social media like discord reddit messenger teams Skype telegram I'm obviously can't go through all of these things that would take a long time but I can still show you guys like let's go to Among Us free play so these games are web browser games they're not really games that are installed on your system obviously so it's all web browser based so you definitely can in suspect um some not very great performance obviously you see here i'm player it's among us but it's through the web so you can definitely see tons of lag and a lot of slowness going on here like it's a lot but I mean, is it playable? Yeah, it is. So that's enough of that. Let's try another game out. Like, let's try Classic Minecraft. So honestly, I haven't tried these either before. This is the first for me. I don't know how these games do work in the internet, actually. So it's pretty cool to see it. Let's see what happens here. So it says it's just generating the lev level, and it says carving and growing. Huh. Let's see, planting. Let's just give me a username, and here we are. <laughs> Minecraft in a browser. Would you ever imagine? Like, look at this. Oh my goodness! Like, and this is not terrible speed. Like, this seriously. For some people, this might be fun. Like, seriously, I'm not joking. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is really cool. Oh my goodness, yeah. This is cool. I'm not going to go into the gameplay and stuff now because that's not really what this video is about. But still, let's just close out of there now. Say escape leave so you see there's tons of other games i could click on here and try to play oh we haven't here i got interested quake 3 in a browser let's see what this thing actually looks like so let's see do i agree i agree hmm I'm actually really interested to see what this is. So, so I definitely recommend just flashing this to a spare SD card USB stick and testing out this this new feature. I mean, this new feature is super cool, really nice. Okay, so looky here, I'm in the game now, and yeah. This is Quake 3 running in a browser. Like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. I can do all my stuff. I can shoot. Oh my, oops. Here I am. I can move around. This is a free-for-all right now, but yeah. So this is really amazing that you can do this from Twister OS. And this can literally keep you occupied for hours. Just going through all of these games, these apps, and seeing what there is to do. So I definitely recommend you guys doing this, taking a look at it, and see how this is and what you can do here. So that's enough of here. Let's just close out of here. So go through these web apps and see what you can do. You'll definitely have fun. One more update that they did add to this Twitter OS version was opening up EXE files from Finder or File Manager. So to do that, let's go and download 7-Zip. I mean, it doesn't have to be 7-Zip, obviously. It could be anything. I'm, but I'm just going to be using this for example. 
So I'm gonna download the 32-bit Windows version. There we go. I can close out of here, open up my Finder, go over to Downloads, and all you have to do, double click on this, give it a second because it is emulating this, so it does take a little bit to open. Keep that in mind, and here we are, 7-zip setup. All you have to do to install it, click Install, and your app will be installed. It's that easy. You can do this with any Windows app that's supported on here. Now it's that easy to install. How great is that? It's just amazing. I'm not going to install it right now, though, but yeah. So this Twister OS version 1.6 is really amazing. I, I super enjoyed using it the time I've used it, and I'm probably going to be using it more. But yeah, so definitely take a look at it, install it, play around with it. You'll have fun. So thanks for watching this video. Any questions about this, please hit me down below in the comments. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe.